Okay, here we are heading out. Uh, we're in Star. I'm gonna go check out that property for you on Verdan. Subdivisions over here on the left. Got one lonely golfer out here today. We're heading up. Uh, okay, so we're walking up to the front. You'll notice all the awesome wood trim and stone accents. Very cool. Huge pavers in here. Courtyard area. It's pretty awesome. It's a really fine uh, textured finish here on the stucco. Killer front doors. The wood paneling above. And I have to say, I am loving this house. So you walk into the front and you've got this parlor in front of you. Super tall ceilings. Kind of a, a yellow faux color. It's not as yellow as what you're probably getting with the video, but hand scraped hardwood floors. Look at the doors up here. Little latches that open up to little windows. Off to the left, you have the master. And the rest of the house this way. But let's take a look in here first. This is unique. Stone. Looks like an awesome office. The wood beams in here. This goes out to the golf course. Out to the hot tub. Notice the wood panel ceiling out here. Nice and tall. I'd say it's 10 feet in here. It will be a cool place for mounts. And off to the right, we have what's presumably a formal dining area. The wood beam ceilings. This is where you put your billy bass. See, they already got it mounted. I have a billy bass. He's about a three foot long one though, so he's not your typical Walmart billy bass. And he sings a different tune. He doesn't do the Sweet Home Alabama. He's got Walk This Way. That's the one he does. Beautiful staircase. I don't know which way to take you here. Let's go this way. An elegant bathroom, guest bath. Toilet behind the door there. And off to our right, this is where I believe you have the laundry room and garage number one. There's your driveway out there with the basketball hoop. Over here, that's the door of the garage. Huge laundry with lots of cabinets. Lots of drawers. Pull-outs. Central vac attachments over here as well. Again, 10 foot ceilings. This is uh, garage number one. It's two car garage. Finished. Probably about 11 or 12 foot ceilings in here. Fluorescent lights. And it's got the finished floor as well, epoxied. All right, let's head in here and take a look at the kitchen. Okay, here's a good look at the kitchen. Look at the, the thickness of that slab granite on the island. I don't know if they just did a curled edge or not, but it's pretty impressive. Lots of recessed can lighting, lots of counter space. Pretty awesome stove over here. So 
Thermidor Professional. Little wine motif going on, some spice racks over here. Looks like some pretty good quality cabinets. To go with the paper plates. Really nice windows. It's got the handles on there. The dishwasher, convection oven, and a Thermador refrigerator also. Built in. And this is pretty impressive in here. It's probably better in person than the photos. Lots of wall space for you for your mounts. I can see why this has been your first pick. I'm not sure how high up that is, probably good 30 feet. 25, 30, something like that. This goes out to the rear covered patio. It's probably got the most coveted orientation. Most people love kind of facing this way. You've got the mountain views. Snow melts off the driveway better. Not that we have very severe winters here, but it's just good to know. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek out here since we're here. There's your property. Just love the wood. Good ceiling out here. Stamp concrete, huge patio. Don't know if I saw a gas line for the barbecue, but that's an easy enough fix if you wanted one your real wood burning fireplace which is cool and here's your dining space or eating space lots of light lots of wood trim and this goes out to your next garage and this one's Extra deep, also has a pellet stove, epoxy floor, finished man door, pet door. I suppose I should turn off some lights for you here. Let there be light. You could fit pretty much any size rig in here. Boat as well. Kind of workspace out here, lots of cabinets. Pretty awesome. Dual openers. I'd say it's about a 10 foot ceiling in here as well. Okay, so we're gonna leave the garage area and leave the awesome family room here and head over to the Masta. This is a, just a coat closet right here. Correct. And now we enter the master bedroom. Very nice. The listing says that this is 21 by 20 or 22 by 22. I don't think that's accurate because this is, might be 22 in length, but it's certainly not 22 expanding this way definitely not it's probably more like 15 maybe 16 but there is plenty of room in here for a king size bed and a dresser or a couple dressers tv whatever you want nice archway into the bathroom and just beautiful trim throughout the house private commode 
elongated toilet, nice window. Looks like we have the eight foot doors in here, which is also elegant, as well as the archways. Awesome jetted tub, travertine tile floors in here, glass block window, curtain rod is there. Very nice spacious walk-in master closet. And over here, we have the walk-in shower. Again, the travertine. Here is the listing agent. And the home. Shout out to her. Got the party shower here with the dual heads. Some decor tile up there. They did a nice job in here. And over here we have Boise's voted most handsome realtor. Well, maybe not yet, but I'm working on it. Beautiful cased in mirrors, granite countertops, undermount sinks, the rub rubbed oil hardware here. Uh, backsplash, lots of nice cabinetry in here. Okay, let's get our heading up the stairs. I like how they're cased in here. It's probably like original carpet, but it's in excellent condition. Kind of a cool rotunda. Again, lots of wall space for mounts. Love the feel of this place, it's really neat. It's absolute custom. Never seen a plan like it. Sorry, I didn't turn on the light up here. So we got bedroom number one. Has the patio going out. What is this? So we got a closet here. And this goes into the secret room. Very cool. These look like access panels here. Go into your attic. This is great. Little retreat off of this bedroom. Totally, totally cool. Little niche here. And their own full bath. Very elegant fixtures. It's missing a mirror. Not a big deal. And nice big tile shower. Jetted tub. And a killer mountain view. And golf course view. Also had granite counters. There's your central vac down there. Nice archway right here. This is a nice view of the family room. I really should have turned on some lights up here. Oh, look at there's the outside patio up top. Okay, and off to our right, we have. It looks like we have a furnace in here. Sorry about the darkness. And I'm sure there was another one out in the garage. A little bit of duct work, extra carpet. Beautiful shower team floors. This is the extra tall vanities also. This one has tile countertops. The code. Shower unit with tile. Sorry, my filming is digressing. 
So this looks a little bit like kind of like a Jack and Jill set up here. Hope we're not getting too lost. We'll turn back around and head back into that room. There's your journal again. Hello, bueno, como esta? And a nice light and bright room in here. No lights on and shows well. This room is towards the front of the house. You can get your bearings. There's my car. The view from here, very nice. And your own private airplane to get around the house in. I should probably stop the bad jokes already. Little closet in here, the built-ins. And we'll go around over to here. And on the left, we have this awesome bonus room. 10 foot ceilings in here as well. Got your entertainment center, wet bar, and just a fabulous view. This would be a great place to entertain up here. We've got the mountains, and we've got the deck out here as well. Covered. It's a little bit windy today. It's in phenomenal shape. Looks good. Pad feels decent. Plenty of room for a big screen TV in there. And I think we have one more room off to the left. Looks like they have their carbon monoxide detector in there. This was the bathroom that we were kind of peeking in through that other room. So you can go in this way as well. Then our last bedroom. This is again off the west side of the home, right above the garage. This is the first room I think I've noticed an eight foot ceiling in here. Walk-in closet, decent size. And I think that concludes our tours, our tour. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Hey guys, this is Sean Taylor. I look forward to meeting you someday. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that tour. Here's a few more details about the house that the uh, listing agent left. Some great information, uh, explains more of the fine details of the property, which gives it a lot of value. So. Anyway, it seems to me like a very well-constructed house that has been uh, lovingly taken care of. Nice neighborhood. I love, like I said, the orientation of the house, uh, that the rear of the home faces east. So you've got the great mountain view. And it's also most of my clients prefer a home that faces that way. So, so you have a shaded rear patio in the afternoon, etc., and the snow melts off the driveway a little bit faster in the winter. And uh, anyway, look forward to meeting you someday and hope you found that very helpful. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. showing today is of 3474 Verdant Place in Star, Idaho. This home is listed by Angel at Group One. And I'm Sean Taylor at Silver Creek Realty. I'm gonna show you this house today. But before we get started, I'll just show you some of the awesome amenities that Angel listed. And if you want to pause and read all these carefully, you're welcome to. We'll go through these so you can take your time reading them at your leisure. 
a very impressive house. 5,112 square feet, six car garage, backs up to a golf course, stunning finishes. Top to bottom, wonderful looking home. And here's a few additional things about the house. There you go.